In a previous video we got our player moving, now we're going to set up our tile maps, design our first level and add our tile map colliders. So first of all I'm going to delete our existing platform, then I'm going to select our main camera and set the background to be black. Then I'm going to grab our tile map asset by Kenny, which I'll link below. Make sure you grab this transparent one, otherwise our collider will be boxy. Select our sprite and set the sprite mode to be multiple. Set the pixels per unit to be one less than they actually are. So ours are 16 by 16. By doing this, you fix tearing the lazy man's way. And set filter mode to be point no filter and compression to be none. And click apply. Click sprite editor, slice, grid by cell size and set this to be 16 by 16 and click slice and then click apply. Close this, go to window, 2D, tile palette, and drag this in with our inspector. Select create new palette, I'll just call this palette. I'm gonna create a new folder for this called tile map and click select folder. Then click on our sprite and drag it into our palette we've just created. Select our tile map folder and our sprites get converted into this nice palette that we can select and paint on our scene with. But before we can paint on our scene, over in the hierarchy, right click and go 2D object, tile map, rectangular and I'll call this platforms. Now you can see our tiles appearing on our scene. So we can go to our palette, select the tiles we want, create a platform. If we press play now, our player will fall straight through this because we don't have any colliders anymore. So select platforms in the hierarchy and go to the inspector. I'm going to add a new component to so search for tile map collider 2D and add this. And you can see a collider has been added around each one of our sprites. Because this is transparent, it tries to kind of draw around our sprite shape. By having it around each sprite, it's not very, I can't think of the word, but good for performance. <laughs> so we're going to add another component and search for a composite, ooh, composite collider 2D. Then all we have to do in our tile map collider 2D is tick used by composite. You can see this changes into one great big line. Instead of separate sprites, it draws around our whole platform. It's also added a rigid body 2D, so just make sure you set it from dynamic to static so our platform doesn't fall. Now when we press play, our player can stand up. So now we can design our first level, which I've just done here. You can see I've added all these platforms and a base floor. In the future, we're also going to implement some wall jumps and wall slides. So to do that, we'll add some walls. I'm going to create a new tile map in my grid for my walls, which will keep things easier in future implementation. And we need to differentiate between our grounds and our walls. So right click on grid, go 2D object, tile map rectangular, and we'll call this wall. Then collect on the tile palette and under active tile map, make sure you select wall. And then I'm going to select this little tile here, which matches our ground. Just drag it all the way up and then do the same on the other side with the opposite sprite. Now back in the inspector with wall selected, we're going to add a tile map collider 2D and a composite collider 2D. Same as last time. We'll select use by composite, open up our rigid body 2D and select static. We press play, our character can move around on our ground. Now you can see in our scene, he does walk off to the wall and bumps his head. But in our game view, our player has now walked off the side of our camera. So really quickly, let's get our camera following our player. Go to window, package manager and search for Cinemachine. Select Cinemachine and click install and close this. Right click in our hierarchy and you'll see Cinemachine down the bottom. You can go to 2D camera and then in this you can see we have a follow slot in the inspector. If you drag our player into this follow spot and press play, our camera now follows our player. And we're finished, level one is designed. One down, as many as you want to go. <laughs> In our next video, we're going to implement jumping, double jumps, and add some feeling to our jumps with gravity and friction. Very exciting. See you then.